hi everybody welcome to live blogger in this tutorial series we are creating this mega menu using html css and javascript now in the previous video i showed you how to create the html of this menu and this is how it looks right now now in this video we will start adding the styles and make it look like this so let's get started <laughs> Right here I'm in my source code and let's go ahead and start by styling the content. So if we scroll down here we can see we have the content. So we'll just add some basic styles to this. So let's go to style CSS file and uh, let's tap content. And let's set the font family to Poppins. And uh, sans serif. And let's set the line height of all the text to 2. And uh, if you go back to our design, this is how it looks. So if we scroll down, here we can see we have the content. Now let's also add a max width. So let's tap max width and let's set the max width to, let's try 600 pixels. And we'll also bring it to the center. So let's tap margin inline and uh, let's set it to auto. And now we can see it is in the center. Let's also increase the font size of this uh, heading. So for the heading we have an H1. Let's change this to H2. And uh, here also I'll just change this to H2. And let's tap content H2 and let's set the font size to let's try 80 pixels. And uh, let's also remove the margin. So let's tap margin 0. And uh, I think that looks alright. Right now let's start styling this uh, mega menu. So let's go to the HTML file. And here we can see we have this nav with a class of mega menu. Now since this is a complex menu, it is uh, difficult for us to create different styling for the same exact menu for desktop and mobile versions. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a different menu altogether for mobile. And we'll just display the desktop menu on larger screens and mobile menu on smaller screens. So let's go ahead and create a container division for this. So I'll just type mega menu container. And uh, in this division, we will add this nav. So I'll just cut this ending tag from here. And I'll just fold this. And uh, after the nav, let's paste the ending tag of the div. And now we can see we have the nav inside the mega menu container division. Right now let's start with the styling. So first of all, let's add some styles to mega menu container. So let's type mega menu container and uh, let's set the font family to Poppins. And uh, let's set the font size of all the text to 15 pixels. And let's set the color of all the text to 023047. Now let's also set the box sizing to border box so that we have the correct height and width for all the elements. So let's tap mega menu container and mega menu container asterisk for all the elements inside that. And let's tap box sizing border box. Right now let's style all the anchor tags inside the mega menu. So let's tap mega menu container A and uh, let's set the text decoration to none so that we don't have the underlines. So now we can see we don't have the underlines and uh, let's also set the color of all these anchor tags to 023047 and we'll also set the display to inline block. Right now the next thing we will do is we will hide all these sub menus. So let's go ahead and type mega menu container and let's go back to the HTML and let's see what is the class. So here we can see for the submenu we have this division with the class of submenu container. So let's tap submenu container. So let's go ahead and type opacity and let's set it to zero. And we also need to position this submenu container relative to uh, this container division which is mega menu. So let's target mega menu over here. So I'll just tap mega menu. And let's set it to position relative and here let's type position absolute and now if we go back to our browser here we can see we have all the menus displayed over here and the sub menus are not being displayed now let's go ahead and uh, style this 
So let's go back to our CSS and uh, let's type mega menu and let's target the immediate UL which is inside it. So we can type this selector over here and this will select just the immediate UL which is this UL right here. It won't select any other UL which is inside this UL. So for example, this one won't be selected. So we just want to style this uh, outer UL over here. So let's go ahead and uh, set the display to flex so that all these elements are one next to the other. And uh, let's go ahead and remove the bullets. So let's type list style and uh, let's set it to none. Right now let's set a max width and uh, let's set the max width to 800 pixels and we'll also bring it to the center so let's type margin and let's set it to zero for top and bottom and auto for left and right right now if we add a background color over here we can see that this is the width of this ul and we need to bring this content to the center so let's type justify content center and we'll also center it vertically so let's type align items to the center and let's add some gap between the elements. So let's type gap and let's set it to 32 pixels. And I think that looks alright. So let's go ahead and remove this background. Right now let's go ahead and style these menu titles. So if you go to the HTML file, here we can see for the menu titles, we have this class of menu title. So let's type mega menu, menu title. And uh, Let's set the padding to 10 pixels top and bottom and 16 pixels left and right. And we'll set the font weight to bold. All right now let's add the hover effect that we have over here for these menu titles. So for that we will use an after selector. And here I'll just change this to mega menu container because we want the same styling for the mobile version as well. So here I'll just change this to the container division. And the styling will be same for the desktop version as well. Right now let's go ahead and let's target the menu title of the desktop version. So let's type mega menu, menu title, colon colon after. And using the after selector you can add uh, extra content to the elements. So if I just type content and if I just type one, two, three. And if I go back to the browser here we can see we have one, two, three displayed after all these elements. So we just want to delete this uh, content from here and we'll just add an underline. So let's go ahead and type height and let's set it to 4 pixels and let's set the width to 100% and we'll set background color of 90 EE90. Now we need to position this after selector relative to this menu title. So here let's type mega menu, menu title and let's type position relative and here let's type position absolute and uh, Let's set the left position to zero and the bottom position to zero. And now we can see we have these underlines. Now we want to display these underlines only when we hover over these uh, menus. So for that, let's go ahead and set the height to zero. And uh, let's set the width to zero as well. And now let's go ahead and add a hover to this uh, li. So let's type mega menu ul li colon hover and uh, we need to change the styles of uh, the menu title which is inside the li so let's type greater than selector and let's type menu title colon colon after and let's set the height to 4 pixels and the width to 100% and now if we go back and if we hover over this we can see that the underline is being displayed let's also add a smooth transition so here let's type transition and let's set it to all 200 milliseconds ease. And now we can see we have this horror effect. Right now let's go ahead and remove the default margin and padding of all the unordered lists. So here I'll just type mega menu container ul and let's set the padding to zero and the margin to zero. And we'll also set the list style to none. And now we can remove the list style of none from here and we can see everything looks all right. Now here we can see even if you hover over this area, we have the products selected and if you hover over this area, we have services selected. That's because uh, the sub menu is uh, right here 
So if we go back to our CSS and if we go to the submenu, so here if I just comment this line of code, here we can see that the submenu is already here. So what we need to do is we need to set the pointer events to none so that we won't be able to click on these submenus. And uh, let's uncomment this line of code. And now we can see we don't have any problems. Right now the next thing we will do is we will add this plus icon for all the list items that have submenu. So let's go back and we will use an after selector for that. And if you go back to the index.html file, here we can see for each of the list items that have submenus, we have added this class of has submenu. Now for the home menu, we don't have the class of has submenu because we don't have any submenu for home. But here we have the submenu, so we have this class of has submenu. And if you scroll down, here also we have this class of has submenu. So let's add an after selector for all the list items which have this class of has submenu. So here let's type has submenu colon colon after and uh, let's set the content to plus. And now if we go back here we can see we have this plus displayed. Let's also add some more styles. I'll just set the margin left to negative 8 pixels and uh, I think that looks all right. Right now if we scroll down we can see that the menu also moves up. So what we need to do is uh, we need to set a fixed position for this menu. So for that let's go back and uh, let's go to the mega menu. And here we will just change the position to fixed. And uh, let's set the top position to 16 pixels. And uh, now we can see it is on the left side. So we have to type left 0 and right 0. Now it is in the center. And for this let's add a max width. So let's type max width and I'll just set it to 900 pixels. And now if we go back here, we can see that it is again in the left side. So let's type margin zero for top and bottom and auto for left and right. And let's also add a box shadow. So I'll just type box shadow and let's set the values to zero, four pixels, 30 pixels, negative seven pixels, RGBA, zero, zero, zero and 0 0.1. And now for the content, let's add a margin top. So here for the content, let's type margin top. And let's set it to 100 pixels. And this is how it looks. And let's also add a background color. So let's scroll down and here for the mega menu, let's type background and let's set it to white. And this is how it looks. So everything is looking all right. Now we have a lot to do. So what I will do is I'll just display the sub menus over here when we hover over this and uh, we'll continue in the next video. So let's go back to our CSS and uh, here we can see for the sub menu container we have set the opacity to zero and the pointer events to none. So let's go ahead and uh, I'll just cut this from here and uh, I'll just paste it down here. And let's go ahead and add a hover effect. So we need to add the hover effect to the list items which have the class of sub menu. So here let's type mega menu has submenu colon hover. And when you hover over this, we need to add the styles to the submenu container. So if you go back to the HTML file, the submenu container division is inside this li, which has this class of submenu. So we can just type dot submenu container. And here I'll just set the opacity back to one and the pointer events to auto. Right now let's go back to our browser and now if you hover over this we can see that the submenu is being displayed and if you hover over this services menu we have the services displayed and if you hover over this AI art we have AI art displayed over here. Let's also position this correctly so let's go back and here for the submenu container let's type left of zero and uh, top of let's try 34 pixels and let's go back and now we can see it looks all right. Right, so that's basically it for this video. In the next video, we will style these submenus and we'll make it look like this. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.
We'll be right back.